Hi, Lawrence DeLuca again. Today's reading is The Princess and the Pea. This is a classic tale. This version has been retold by Denise Hale McAvoy and illustrated by Red Hansen. Once there was a lonely prince. Like his father before him and his father before him, the prince wanted to marry a princess. Only a true princess would do. The prince searched the world. He met plenty of young ladies who claimed to be princesses, but something about them did not seem quite right. He returned to the palace alone. One night, there was a terrible storm. The wind howled and thunder shook the palace walls. A knock was heard at the door. Who goes there? demanded the king. I am Princess Penelope, said the visitor. Please, your majesty, I need shelter. Her hair was a mess. Her clothes were drenched. Still, the prince thought something about her seemed just right. A princess, he whispered to his mother, who had her doubts. The queen set about preparing a room. We shall see if Penelope is a true princess, she thought. She ordered the servants to gather 20 mattresses and stack them on top of each other. Next, she ordered them to gather 20 thick, fluffy quilts filled with bursting soft feathers. These they layered on top of the mattresses. Finally, the queen slipped a single solitary pea under the bottom mattress. Only a true princess would be sensitive enough to feel this, she said to herself. My goodness, exclaimed Penelope when she saw the bed, you've gone to a lot of trouble for me. We have high standards here, replied the queen. She wished Penelope a good night. Alas, Princess Penelope did not have a good night. She felt a dreadful lump in the bed. Try as she might, she could not sleep. In the morning, her body was covered with bruises. How did you sleep? The queen asked her guest. Penelope paused, unsure how to answer. A princess is truthful, but a princess is also kind. She did not want to hurt the queen's feelings. I was grateful to be warm and dry, Penelope said, clasping the queen's hand. When the queen saw the bruises Penelope had been too kind to mention, she knew that she was a true princess, inside and out. A princess, the queen whispered to the prince, who had never had any doubts. The prince and Penelope were married. From that day forward, he was a true prince to her. And the pea that brought them together, it was placed in the Royal Museum as a reminder that in finding love, little things sometimes matter most.